last episode mm -hmm. that we covered the septic. The septic system is done. Since then, John got a new toy. We got a new tractor. We got a new tractor. What kind is it? We got it from Rural King, ordered it brand new. It's an R24, that means it's got 24 horsepower. It's a diesel motor, Yanmar engine. Uh, and we have the backhoe attachment. It's a six and a half foot digging depth backhoe, which has become very invaluable. We've dug a lot of different trenches this week. I've already put 25 hours on the thing and it's been a fantastic little tank for sure. Now being a tractor owner on the way to the property, I was I had this long like 16 foot trailer with the ramps and everything. And um, you get a lot of respect from people on the road. Like you get tips of the hat or a, a very like big wave. Like, hey, I was doing something, but I'm gonna roll down my window and wave to you just cause you have a tractor. So you're considered a <laughs> farmer. And it's, uh, it's like I'm in the club. It's like those people that have Jeeps or like, you know, motorcycles, they have their own like click. I, I'm in the I'm in the tractor click now. You feel cool. Yeah. <laughs> what you got there, John? My new mode of transportation. <laughs> Could you smile any bigger? Look at this thing. Look at those treads. What up, mud? <laughs> this is great. Does it have a horn? I guess it has to be on for the horn. It's got blinkers. Huh? I never had a brand new car before either. Like this is my first like brand new thing. Yeah. I mean, I bought well, the zero new. turn, but this is like my first brand new. Thing. It's about as much as a car. Yeah. I guess this is the fuel. You guess? It smells flammable. That's your brake, just so you know. On the left. Oh. Yeah, he went over the uh, instructions very quickly. <laughs> oh, he's fine. You'll figure it out, right? Yeah. So cool. explain, explain what we got, John. Oh, all right, we got a tractor. What kind is it? Better known in the industry as the little tank. It's a Rural King RK24. That means 24 horsepower. It's got a loader that'll push a bunch of stuff around. It has a universal quick connect system. So you could put a grapple bucket on there, you could put a bunch of stuff on there. We also upgraded here. I know it just looks like a bunch of tubes, but that's a third function kit. So if we wanted to get a bucket with like a thumb or something like that, that has a third function, we could do that too. Um, and then back here, this is our, our backhoe attachment. It digs stuff. I forgot we got this thing too. The yeah, that's the carry all. That's like a, I don't know, it's just to pick up stuff and drive away with it. It wasn't much. That was only like 200 bucks. The carry all. Oh man, I don't even know what this is. What does this little lever do? Oh, what does this do? Oh man. We got a lot to learn. Yeah, there's a switch here too. I like how there's pictures. Oh yeah. All right, let's unleash this guy. All right. So we've been 
digging a bunch of ditches. The first ditch is for the water going from the well to our shed, which is going to house the pressure tank. All right, we're back at the property today, and what we're doing is going this well casing. I started digging a trench. I didn't want to embarrass myself on camera, so that's about as much as I've done, and I feel like I got a, got a knack for the backhoe finally. Um, just using the simple broken backhoe attachment. So it's got a 12 inch bucket on it, and I'm gonna go how far? I'm doing at least 18 inches down. I'm gonna install a pitless adapter on the well, and I'm gonna run it all along, all along that tape to where the shed is gonna be. So I guess let's get to work. The next ditch that we have been digging is from the septic tank to where the RV is going. Marvin started that line for us, but we didn't know exactly where the RV was going to be, so it needs to be extended about, what, 40 feet or so? 30, no, 40 it was, feet? it was 60 feet. Oh, that was off. say for my second day on an excavator or a backhoe for that matter it did pretty good so we got a 65 foot ditch yeah that's just to see if i'm level or not but <clears throat> so we're gonna this ditch is for the septic system that's what the rv is going to dump into and it will travel down this ditch into another four inch line that goes right into the septic tank that's the four inch line and the tank is right there that one and then as i described in the last video that's the uh pump tank so it fills in here goes out to there and then if you look there's the pump line right down there all this stuff is the electric. This is the electric for the high water alarm. So that goes up a ditch pretty much parallel to this one. But man, I'm really proud of that right there. Look at that. Huh. Once you learn how to use that backhoe, it's really good. Really happy with it. All right, so now we gotta we got a place for our waste to go in, which is gonna be around here, and then we're gonna have to split it because it's gonna go that direction toward the house, which is up there in the mountain somewhere. And so we're gonna have a section coming up, and then another section coming out, and um, it'll go toward the shed for the washing machine and then it'll go up the mountain. It's now late in the day. We had some setbacks. John's really straight trench turned out to be a little bit at the wrong angle. So we had to dig out more. And now we put the, the pipes together and now we're gonna bring it into the trench and put it all together, right John? 
Yes. That's the hope. That's the hope. Today hasn't really gone smoothly, but it's all right. We're going to persevere, John. Sounds good to me. too big for you. What? Get the ones that are over here, okay? Good job. We found a mystery while digging a trench. This was my first day on the backhoe and Meg's like really getting on my case. Like, be careful. Don't, don't touch break it. it. <laughs> so, we're here digging for the water line and we found something interesting. To me, it looks like it might be the front steps of a house, not the house that was just here, maybe a house before that, but this is what it looks like. It definitely looks like a shaped rock. I don't know, it could be nothing, but we're gonna try to unearth it. It looks like it has bricks on top of it. What do you think it is? Hopefully not a coffin. I didn't even think of that. I'm still very curious about this stone we found. Here it is, I uncovered more of it. And it kind of dried out so you can see it a little better now. But you see like the edge of it is curved and then it goes straight along over to here. It's not curved on this side, but it's just very, symmetrical 
see it ends ends right here this I believe is mortared to it this one moves that rock moves this one I believe is mortared to it as well so and I found some random mortar and bricks I don't know if it was a fireplace a foundation a front step I don't know it's very strange but I'm hoping we can get it out of here in one piece and use it somewhere I'm not sure where but it would be a really cool element as part of the house or in the house or I don't know I really like it the thing is is that I think it was the front step somehow because the way that it's oriented is right in line with the road so it would make sense and then there was a tree right there but the house that was here was like more like right behind me right here so I don't know we gotta get the backhoe over here to try and pull up these rocks and see what's in the dirt beyond there maybe we'll get more of an idea what it is after our last episode aired we had a lot of concern about our electric and our number one fan <laughs> linda at the campground put us in touch with someone at the electric company which was very helpful because we found out that um we definitely shouldn't be bad mouthing the electric company because we found out they're waiting on us yep whoops we were under the impression that as soon as we paid our bill what is that <laughs> what is it <laughs> it was a crazy looking bug what is that precious <laughs> stuff we what do we find out they're waiting on us yes and we didn't know that we were told there was a miscommunication somewhere we were told that if we paid the bill it would initiate them getting started on the project replacing the pole and hooking up the electric mounting the transformer i thought they would do something and then come back and do the final hookup but apparently they're going to do it all at once once it's approved that portion of the building permit which is the electric portion we're going to be doing all the wiring from uh basically i will mount the meter and everything to the house side of the meter actually i'm going to run the the conduit to the pole too so the conduit to the meter and then the meter through all the circuitry and everything and the inspector will come out and hopefully approve everything. And then the electric company will have the, the go ahead to turn on the service and to finish their connection. The catch is... There's a catch? Yeah. The, the, it all has to be mounted to our shed and our shed isn't existing yet. So we need to build that like really quick. Mm -hmm. We have a plan, don't worry. And I designed it in 3D and uh, it's all to scale. Mm -hmm. So we know where every single board goes. We want to take a minute to thank you for watching. We're excited that so many people care about our little journey we're going on right here. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. It uh, really warms our hearts when uh, we get some comments or thumbs ups or whatever. Um, we appreciate it. Yeah. And it's exciting to, it, we can feel really alone out here. <laughs> right now, all we hear are bugs. I love it. And it's pretty much just all wildlife. So we kind of feel alone, but doing this YouTube channel, we kind of feel like we're not alone. And we're sharing this experience with you, which is really cool. So can't we, wait, can't wait to get here and live here. We're a few weeks out. Two weeks. <laughs> couple weeks out from there about and uh it will all come together all these pipes in the ground and wires going every all their different directions and mounds of dirt we're all going to flatten them out and we're going to get there and uh we'll be rolling up sooner than later yeah all right guys see we, you next week we will catch you on the next video it's like a water slide
My was, boots are so full of dirt. I was gonna tap you on the shoulder with it, like give you a little like bro tap. But then I was like, if I hit her in the head, I'll never hear the end of it. That's enough fun for today. Yeah. Bye.